In this vlog, let's continue with the concept of flutter hooks which we are dealing from past two tutorials and if you have not gone through those tutorials, I am providing the link in the description section below. You may go through them before getting started with this particular tutorial to get the basic knowledge of what is a flutter hooks and what are we going to do with this. So now let's get started. So in our previous tutorial, we have clearly discussed about the use state here. So what is the use state and why do we use use state as so use state is a part of a flutter hooks. In this particular tutorial, we have clearly discussed regarding the importance of use state here. So the use state will create a variable and will subscribe to that variable and will try to listen to the changes that are made over to that particular variable. So for example, we have considered a counter example where we try to increment or decrement the number and we have clearly explained in this particular tutorial so without the help of a stateful widget we have incremented or decremented the number with the help of this particular use state which is a part of flutter hooks so you may use this particular use state concept and avoid stateful widget in your application so as to reduce the unnecessary boilerplate code and the second concept is use effect which we have considered in our in our last tutorial where we have avoided initialization and dispose which are parts of lifecycle components for a stateful widget we have initialized a timer and auto incremented the counter with the help of a timer widget so instead of clicking multiple times we have just tried to auto increment the number with the help of this particular use effect we need not dispose the timer after the use so it will handle the initialization and dispose phase this use effect will accept a function as a parameter and also a return and also returns a function so this is synchronously called on every build unless keys are specified there so whenever you specify any keys and there is any change to that particular value or object specified in the key then this particular use effect will recall again it takes an effect of callback and calls it synchronously so by default use effect is called only once in when we call every build call unless keys are specified as we have just discussed we have clearly gone through this particular tutorial here on use effects so i am providing the links for all these tutorials on flutter hooks in the description section below and you can go through them for more information on the usage of use effect here and in this current tutorial we are dealing with use memo eyes what is the use of use memo eyes and why do we use this particular component as a part of flutter hooks we will be going to cover in this particular tutorial and i suggest you to go through this entire tutorial and by the end of this tutorial you will get a very good knowledge on this particular component here i have clearly explained this particular component such that you may not find an easy example rather than this in entire youtube i have provided a very simple example such that you can understand this particular concept very easily so i suggest you to go through this particular tutorial completely and by the end of this tutorial you will clearly understand the use of use memo as here so this is again a concept of react as we are well aware that flutter hooks are being inspired from hooks concept which we previously used in react so this is a general introduction for this tutorial on use memo as here and for more interesting content share like and subscribe to our channel and the complete tutorial is being provided shortly in the description section below of this particular tutorial stay subscribed to get the update as we upload